The war between Ukraine and Russia has shaken the world economically, politically and diplomatically. Having turned into a nightmare for the Kremlin, it could never awaken the war started by Russian politicians. Vladimir Putin's ambitions hurt the Russians and the Russian army the biggest losses to the Russian army were as big as an avalanche as we entered the third phase of the war in September. Eight months have passed, the Ukrainian army in the south is having an advantage and a curse on the Russians. When the Russians realized the danger in Crimea and Kherson, the Ukrainian anti-aircraft guns and the Ukrainian air force threatened the Russians with their legendary attacks. They began moving 12 battalions from east to south, an opportunity that the Ukrainian and Ukrainian armies had been waiting for. The armies launched a large-scale offensive, which included land operations throughout the east and north, then resumed. The Russian army invaded Ukraine with the last ambush of the Ukrainian armed forces in the northeast, causing very heavy losses to the Russian army. Putin's army lost a lot of precious things to Kiev's well-organized and well-planned attack. Especially the tanks and armor left behind by the Russian army when escaping under the attack of Kharkov of Ukrainian fighters. It took only 10 days to liberate nearly 400 areas. More than 7,000 intruders were killed and nearly 10,000 arrested, in addition to a report published a day earlier that Russia's most important special operations unit had been captured by the armed forces. Surrounded by Ukrainian armed forces in the Kharkiv region. The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed Russian positions near the town of Baraklaya in the Kharkiv region, and the Russian military is losing its technological edge. Ukrainian special forces surrounded Russia's Samara Special Rapid Force with artillery support. A number of Russian special forces registered soldiers are believed to have been killed, while a remaining platoon of special forces was captured. 